Hi everybody, uh, I hope you are well, I hope your families are well, hope everyone's staying safe. Uh, just sending you a quick video update um, from my car, as you can see, my wife's, uh, I'm at the hospital um, car park, my wife's just uh, inside and I'm waiting to see if we are going into labour and if they'll let me in, because there's quite a few restrictions, so... Uh, as well as not wanting to see my ugly mug for too long, another reason to keep this quite short. Um, and the reason for doing this is just to keep you updated. We're sending out emails, but just wanted to do bite-sized videos as well, just to try and keep as many people that, uh, you know, as informed and updated as possible. So uh, I really do hope everyone watching this is well and keeping safe. Um, five weeks into lockdown, it's a tough time now, but... Um, you know we're getting there i think we can start to see that things are um you know the end is in sight hopefully um okay so first things first i just wanted to remind people we are sending the email updates from mainly myself uh, i know there's an awful lot of whatsapp groups going on which are brilliant don't forget paul wareham also sends weekly updates on our place uh, as as does Paul Chapman, Paul Crefield, Pete Curran. There's loads of content on there. Quite short, snappy content, which is useful, funny and relevant. Um, so if you can uh, subscribe to the R Place um, updates from those people, I think you'll find those really useful. Um, what I'd like to say, firstly, is a massive thank you. Um, two reasons. One is... The retained people, so 50, about 50 people that were retained to keep the business ticking over in this tough period, have probably just done a stunning, a simply stunning job. Um, it's been a lot harder than any of us thought it would be. It was never going to be easy, but it's been an awful lot harder. So a sincere thank you to those individuals that have just carried on working uh, above and beyond weekends, burning the midnight oil, it, it's been tough, I really do know that, and you've done a brilliant job, so thank you. And then secondly, to everybody else, uh, all of our furloughed uh, colleagues, because uh, that's not an easy situation to be in as well at all. Please don't think we underestimate that, that's not an easy position. And uh, the amount of sort of support, um, feedback, comments from all of you that I've been getting personally, but I know a lot of you have been sharing with other people as well, has been heartwarming to say the least so we are all in this together we will get through this together uh, but thank you very much for all of the feedback and there's loads of whatsapp groups and parties and house parties and they're, they're brilliant funny keep them going keep the feedback coming um just just you know carry on being you because you're brilliant thank you um one thing that um you know one thing that we've been trying to do is to make sure that we Keep people safe, but keep people moving. The government advice we know does allow for people to move where where certain restrictions are in place. Um, and I'll be honest, we are amazed by the number of customers that still want to move. Uh, and also the number of customers out, out of our 7,000 plus pipeline that just want to get an update. Even though we're in a kind of UK lockdown, they still want updates. They still want to know how the case is progressing, if at all it's progressing. And, and obviously with only 50 people working a pipeline of 7,000 compared to normally 350, that's been extremely tough. Um, so uh, that is one of the reasons that last week we unfurloughed a handful of staff. Um, so we brought six more people back into the business that had been furloughed. You'll know about that by now probably. Um, and to be honest, that, that those six individuals did a fantastic job. And one of the things that um, we all hope we can continue to do moving forward is that kind of phased return where work volumes dictate um, and where our business you know uh, allows it because there's a cost associated with that but where it's the right thing to do uh, then we will start hopefully start to do a bit more of that over the coming weeks coming months so um, just wanted to make you aware of that it's a positive Another real positive for me is um, that 7,000 pipeline hasn't really dropped off. We haven't seen dyed files. We haven't seen um, any drop-offs more than we normally would. So that for me is a real strong indicator that when we get through this, and we will get through it, but when we get through this, we'll still be in a, a very 
strong position from a pipeline point of view and hopefully a lot of customers will then start um you know be able to uh, start to move sort of volume and and hopefully be in a financial position to still continue with their sale or purchase so i think our pipeline puts us in a really good position and i'll keep you updated uh, in these updates with regards to the pipeline um i said i'd keep this short and obviously i um you know i will be keeping this short uh, I'll do another one of these in a couple of days just to keep you more updated. Um, just reading my notes. Uh, as I say, do keep sharing updates with us. Do keep in contact. If you need to know anything, please shout. Some companies, it's it's you know, it's very sad to say some companies won't probably survive this economic challenge. But I am very confident Countrywide and CCS will. And truthfully, the main reason why is because those other companies don't have you. You know, the one thing in our business that nobody else has, and as a business, it uh, we're strong, um, we're we're in a really good place. So, um, thank you for everything you continue to do, even in furlough. Um, you're helping our business immensely. So that's it from me. Thank you very much, guys.